Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're going to be working on page four and five of Sweet Winter. Four and five of Sweet Winter. Again, this is the Stamperia collection. Okay, we're going to start off with a large flap that's going to get installed on the right hand side of page four, and this flap is six and a half. <clears throat> Excuse me, six and a half by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the six and a half inch side. And I was just dry fitting it real quick and I think I need to trim it down just a tiny, tiny bit. Let me double check my cover sheet. Yeah, it needs to come down just a bit. <clears throat> I think uh, a lot of times I'll do what I call a rough cut um, and set my papers aside and then dry fit for final. And Looks like I'm going to have to trip this for some reason. Isn't straight. Let me double check again. <clears throat> well, hello, Nala. My puppy came to see me. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this in. Okay, it's going to go on the right hand side, which is the spine side of page four. Okay, and then um, we've got a smaller flap, and this is four and a half by eight. Four and a half by eight, you're going to score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. And then on the inside of the smaller flap, we have a pocket. This pocket is five inches across by four and a half inches tall. Five by four and a half. On the five inch side, you're gonna score it half inch and four and a half. Then you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees and score half inch. And then you're gonna have a pocket. <laughs> and your finished pocket should be four by four. It's going to get installed uh, on the lower half of the four and a half inch flap. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay, it's um. I've got kind of heavy cardstock, so I'm going to burnish this down and make it lay down. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and use two magnets to keep this all closed. One here and here, because it is kind of heavy. <clears throat> I'm using heavier cardstock than usual. I'm trying out a couple of new brands to see if I find something I like a little bit better uh, than my previous brands. And I haven't decided yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you guys know. Right now I'm using something that's about 110 pounds, and I think it's too heavy. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this album in it. <clears throat> I think 80 pounds is about the right weight for white, for whatever reason, white. 80 pounds in white feels a lot lighter than... I'm going to do my little mark here. Than 80 pounds in black. <clears throat> Which is... I don't understand, but <laughs> I can definitely feel the difference. I just don't know why it's that way. <clears throat> Hope everybody's doing good. Starting to get into the holiday spirits. I think uh, Halloween has a way of sort of kicking that off. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> and we definitely want our magnets on the outside here because we are gonna have an insert in the pocket and you know it's very difficult for a magnet to transfer through an insert, or as most of you know. Okay, let's get started. 
think I might have to do a little bit of trimming here. That should do it. And then it's perfect. This was one of my favorite ones, uh, prints in the scrapbook pad. And I wanted to use the whole image so it's actually um, gonna go across the two pages. And this again is the scrapbook, 12 by 12 scrapbook pad pack. I need to clean my tip. <clears throat> Which, if you guys are doing or looking to do some Christmas shopping for fellow crafters, this tip is just a must have. I mean, you, sh you save so much glue and I don't know about you guys, but I was constantly losing my pens and this is much easier to keep track of. Uh, than a pen that goes in. <clears throat> so then I'd replace it with something and it would rust and <laughs> and so on and so forth. So this is gonna go on the inside here. And it's a little tight on the score line, so I'll take a sliver off. So that should do it. Kind of a cloudy day here today. I got up really early before the sun came out because I was hoping we'd have a pretty sunrise, but it was too uh, too overcast. I think we're supposed to get some rain today or tomorrow. Anyway. <clears throat> Beautiful, beautiful. 12 by 12 pattern, 12 by 12 pattern. So this is the flip side of this one. I'd think about that real quick, is that right? Yeah. 12 by 12 pattern. <clears throat> this is eight by eight. And it turns out there's one of these in the um, Pad or background pack and one of these in the um, scrapbook pack. So I'm gonna use one of each. It's a little too tight. Um, one for page four and one for page five. <clears throat> and what I'm trying to do is make sure that it's not in that score line. And because I'm using super heavyweight cardstock, it matters even more than it normally would. <clears throat> okay. So I've been having a great deal of difficulty getting my stuff uploaded to um, YouTube. I don't know why. I can't find an issue on my side. Um, and because of that, I'm going to keep this video short. And, and I'm going to expect you to replicate page um, five on your own. And it's just going to be a mirror image. And I'll show you what that looks like at the end of this video. But I'm not going to actually do the build. Um, to save some of the, uh, the size of the file, so hopefully it'll upload a little bit sooner. Oh, I forgot to check, but I did get it in right side up. Okay, uh, this is also from the 12 by 12 collection pack, and it was what was left over from here. 
I had a strip wide enough to go here and I cut it in half at six. So it's gonna go here inside this pocket and then this is going to be the uh, piece that goes on the, the lower part of the pocket. Isn't this pretty? And this is what was shaved off the 12 by 12. This is the bottom piece of this, or the top piece of this, I'm sorry. So it wound up being just the right size for the pocket. Beautiful. Okay, and this is a little too far, too big to push inside the pocket, so I'm gonna shorten it a little. And then we won't have to work so hard to get it inside the pocket. I'm going to come it around half inch. Twelve by twelve. I'm going to leave my leading edge without glue. It'll just slide into the pocket a little easier. Maybe, there we go. There we go, so there's the inside. And then offline I went ahead and made this insert. It is three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters by seven. Three and three quarters by seven and it goes right inside this pocket like so, three and three quarters by seven. And that, oops, we still have one more piece. It's almost done. Looks good. <clears throat> eight by eight. And you can cut it in half and use one on page four and one on page five. checking to make sure I've got the words going the right way and I do okay so there we go so there's page four I'm gonna go offline build page five and then I'm gonna set them side by side so you can see what they look like together be back soon hey everyone I'm back and so I've gone ahead and finished page five but I wanted to show these to you side by side so you'd know how they're gonna look in the book so I'm kind of I'm pretty pleased with this I really liked this paper from the 12 by 12 uh, pack so I didn't want to I, I wanted to make sure that I was utilizing the full image so as you know this opens and this opens and then we've got an insert on both sides so the measurements are exactly the same um, all that's different is that you're making this a mirror image um, so that you know they're exactly the same when they're facing each other so on this one we installed the large flap to the right on this side, it's gonna be installed to the left and so on. So that is it. I might put um, an additional inserts in um, this pocket uh, from the cut-aparts, um, but I'm gonna wait and see how my paper, how much paper I have toward the end. And I do recommend going ahead and using, especially if you're using heavier weight cardstock, uh, two magnets. Um, there's a lot of weight on the small flap with that interior pocket. So that's it for page four and five. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. One of the easiest things that you can do to support us on this channel is just to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all that you do and we're happy that you came to spend some time with us here today at Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon with the rest of this album.